Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and today we're going to continue with the restoration of the Akrapovich exhaust for a BRP Canem Spider F3S. The project is not really moving as fast as I thought. I still have a lot of things to do with this main part of the exhaust. I need to clean it, I need to put a black matte color on it, and the carbon part is nowhere nearby to a finish. Actually, this uh, first part is almost like ready. Uh, it's wet sanded, clear coated and polished. However, these parts are nowhere nearby already. And as you can see, I have a lot of mess behind me. I'm still moving to a studio. I have so many projects as anti-manufacturing and I have so many excuses. So long story short, I'm gonna send these three things to my friend, uh, to a bicycle shop. He has a tiny little space where he restores old bicycles. He has super skilled hands and I'm gonna send it to him. I'm gonna send him also the camera so he can tell us the proper way or he can tell me the proper way how I should do it. Plus, I will give him this ready like he stole it t-shirt as a way of saying thank you, buddy. So while my buddy is working on the carbon parts, uh, it's time to give a proper clean to this main part of the exhaust. And finally, you will see how crazy used it is after four or five years. Uh, the black mat, it's not black anymore. Uh, and there are a lot of leaks and, and scratches. Uh, we will also clean this end pipes because there is, uh, I have too much rich fuel. So there is a lot of, you know, burnt fuel at the end of the pipes. So we will clean those. And also we'll be cleaning the metal part, the metal batch, and I will use Coke for it. Why? I have seen so many videos, Coke doing miracles, and I would like to give it a try. And at the end, when all is going to be clean, uh, we will remove some parts to make it, you know, properly ready for, for applying the black mat. So hopefully uh, the exhaust will look like new again. Now, let's get moving. Okay, have a look. This is how it looks after just cleaning with water. Uh, you know, to be super fair, of course, the color has faded away, but to be super fair, these leaks, these stripes that you can see here, uh, they are most probably done uh, by me using those color shiners or, or moisturizers, call it as you like, because the color was not nice. I was using the sprays to, you know, the shine the exhaust a little. So once the exhaust was very hot, that's the reason probably um, why they why, why there are these stripes because of those, you know, sprays and, and moisturizers and color shiners and whatever, you know. What works the best for me uh, around this stainless steel area um, when I, I was trying to remove this copper kind of look and this burned areas, uh, this deck habit, uh, it's a basically asphalt remover. So any asphalt remover should work fine. And also I'm using this sanding fleece and the result is quite nice. It's again, it's nice and shiny. I will try to give it a little bit more of a sparkle, but you know, it works. So I'll keep going and, and finish the whole, the all three pipes. Okay, so the exhaust is as clean as possible. Uh, of course, I, I put some extra work on this part that I probably didn't have to do, but 
you know, I, uh, once the exhaust is off the bike and I'm doing the restoration after many years, uh, why not to give it, uh, let's say, properly or whatever, just to give it uh, extra work. Uh, what I will do now is that I will wet sand it with 1000 and 2000 sanding paper just to remove the scratches and, you know, some sort of bumps. Uh, so when we will apply the black matte color coating, uh, there will be no really visible bumps and, you know, those mistakes. And of course, we will duct tape the areas that uh, I want not to be covered in the black mat, like uh, like this serial number and aquapovich badge and this text right over here, and of course the stainless steel part. By the way, have you ever wondered how the inside of the exhaust look like, like what is there? Uh, I needed to open it because of these ribbit screws, you know, being in there and being moving and rattling. So, uh, have a look. This is how it looks inside. Uh, you have this isolation material and then you have a buffler inside. Uh, I wish I can change that one because it's nowhere near good, but that's something that I will not do because simply I don't know how to do it. Guys, we have all of the areas covered the way I wanted. Um, there will be a carbon part here. There is a carbon part right over here. So I just did same here. Uh, I just covered a little bit more. Anyway, there will be, nobody will see it after, after we will black coat it. Uh, why I did put some extra taping here is because I don't want to get this part any thicker than it is because it needs to go back to its place. Uh, I don't know if it's really important, I just did it. Um, we will apply one more time this uh, technical um, alcohol, it's a degreaser, yeah. And of course the last thing uh, we will do then, uh, this black coating, this is a black matte color, uh, heat resistant up to 600 degrees. Uh, my top tip here is that of course I'm not skilled, I never did this before but it is what it is and I'm, I'm like to play around so i have some extra metal part uh, here from the brand new heater that i have here because it's so cold here so i have applied this black coating right over there uh, quite happy with the uh, outcome so now i'm feeling a little bit more safe so enough of this let's apply the black coating All right, I just noticed that my mic went off, I discharged, but hopefully you can still hear me. I'm too tired to charge it back for the last part of the video. Anyway, what I will be doing, I will be applying several layers of the black coat. Uh, so I have applied first one and I will let it sit for about 15 minutes and I will apply another one and I will apply another one and let it sit and, and things will go like this for like two hours because then my kids are back finally home so uh, this is it from this part in case you like this kind of content subscribe to my channel and have the notifications on because i'm working on many different projects and the videos are coming shortly and definitely wait for the outcome wait for the part three of the restoration of upkarpovich exhaust my body will send me back the carbon part uh, hopefully i will not damage this one and i will try to put everything together and you will see the final outcome together with comparison how it looked before. And remember, don't play with Akrapovich exhaust if you are a dummy like me. <laughs> and always have fun. Now it's time for a coke story. Uh, really, I don't know what to expect. I don't know how it will work. 
I don't know if I can use it for this kind of material. It's like brushed metal or something like that. Uh, anyway, I'm curious to see the outcome and you know, let's just have some fun. And of course I have a backup plan.